Qualitative Analysis of Oils and Fats Fats and oils are concentrated sources of energy. Chemically, fats and oils are triesters of glycerol and higher fatty acids. Fats are solids and whole oils are liquids at ordinary temperature. Fats and oils may be saturated or unsaturated. Saturated fats contain only single bonds within the carbon chain. Saturated fats are of animal origin and are usually present in the solid form. Examples are meat fat and butter. Coconut oil and palm oil also contain saturated fat. Unsaturated fats contain double bonds within the carbon chain. Unsaturated fat is found in fish like salmon and tuna as well as nuts and seeds. Our aim here is to study some simple tests of oils and fats. They are solubility with water, solubility with alcohol, solubility with chloroform, translucent spot test, acrolyne test, Bodway test, Hubble's test. Solubility with water. Materials required Desi ghee Vegetable ghee Refined oil Test tubes and distilled water Procedure Take a small quantity of desi ghee, vegetable ghee and refined oil in three test tubes A, B and C respectively. Now, pour a small quantity of distilled water into test tubes A, B and C. Shake each test tube well. The samples are immiscible in water, indicating the presence of oil or fat in the samples. Solubility with alcohol Take a small quantity of desi ghee, vegetable ghee and refined oil in three test tubes A, B and C respectively. Using a dropper, pour a small quantity of ethyl alcohol into test tubes A, B and C. Shake each test tube well. All the samples form a lower layer in alcohol. Now, heat the test tubes in a boiling water bath. The samples are dissolved on heating, indicating the presence of oil or fat in the samples. Solubility with chloroform Take a small quantity of desi ghee, vegetable ghee and refined oil in three test tubes A, B and C respectively. Using a dropper, pour a small quantity of chloroform into test tubes A, B and C. Shake each test tube well. The samples are miscible in chloroform, indicating the presence of oil or fat in the samples. Translucent Spot Test Take a small quantity of desi ghee using a spatula. Transfer it into a filter paper. Then press a substance with another filter paper. Repeat the experiment with vegetable ghee and refined oil. We can see that a translucent spot is formed on the filter papers. Now take the filter papers and place them in front of the lightning candle and move them over the flame. The light will be partly visible only through the translucent spot formed by the samples due to the diffraction of light. Acrolyne Test Take a small quantity of desi ghee, vegetable ghee and refined oil in three test tubes A, B and C respectively. Using a spatula, add a small quantity of potassium bisulfate crystals into test tubes A, B and C. Now, heat each test tube over the Bunsen burner. 
when oil or fat is treated strongly in the presence of dehydrating agent like potassium bisulfate, the glycerol portion of the molecule is dehydrated to form an unsaturated aldehyde, acrolein, which has a pungent irritating odor. Both way test Materials required Melted desi ghee Melted vanaspati ghee Concentrated hydrochloric acid 2% furfural solution in alcohol Test tubes and droppers Procedure Take a small quantity of melted desi ghee and melted vanaspati ghee in two test tubes A and B respectively. Using a dropper, add a small quantity of concentrated hydrochloric acid into the test tubes A and B. Now, add 2-3 to three drops of 2% furfural solution in alcohol to each test tube using another dropper. Shake the test tubes well and keep them aside for 5-10 to 10 minutes. A rose red color is seen in test tube B, whereas no such color is seen in test tube A. Vanaspati ghee contains 5% sesame oil, which gives a characteristic rose red color with concentrated hydrochloric acid and furfural solution, whereas pure desi ghee does not contain sesame oil. Hubble's test. Materials required Cotton seed oil Linseed oil Chloroform Hubble's reagent Test tubes and droppers Procedure Take two test tubes labelled as A and B. Using a dropper, pour a small quantity of chloroform into each test tube. Then, add a few drops of cottonseed oil into test tube A and linseed oil in test tube B. Shake the test tubes well. Now, add a few drops of Hubble's reagent in each test tube using another dropper. The violet color of iodine in the reagent fades away in test tube B but it does not fade away in test tube A. This indicates that linseed oil is more unsaturated than cottonseed oil. Precautions Handle the chemicals with care. Heating should be done very carefully.